Fantastic, and in this video art tutorial, we're going to be drawing this cute little shamrock, so grab your choice of art making mediums and let's make some art. Alright, so we're going to begin our shamrock by grabbing something to draw with. And we're gonna start at the top. So we're gonna be doing three shapes that almost look like hearts, but with open bottoms. So we're not gonna fill in the bottom, we're gonna leave it open so that way we can attach it and make three different petals for our super cute shamrock. Perfect for St. Patrick's Day. All right, so we're gonna put one dot about, mm, two or three finger spaces down from the top of her page there. And that's gonna be the center of the first petal or leaf on our clover. And we're gonna go up, around and down, up, around and down. Okay, we're gonna do two more leaves, so we're gonna go Sideways this time, out, around, and down. We're gonna do it on the other side as well. Out, around, and down. Take your time and go slow. Perfect. We're gonna add the bottom, so we're gonna go out, around, and up. Out around and up. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna add our stem. So we're gonna draw two curving lines down and out. To connect to the bottom with a nice little curving line, just like that. And once you have your stem, you can go ahead and connect the stem to the leaves by extending the lines. Perfect. All right, we're gonna go around the edge and we're just gonna use just the tip of our mark making medium and we're going to add just a nice little couple lines here and there barely touch the page so it makes a nice fine fine mark I'm just going to add a nice little border just like that add a little bit of texture to our artwork so that way we have contrast right i have a thick line here and now i have a thin line that makes it more visually interesting all right we're going to work on our shamrock's face in the center of our shamrock, we're gonna draw one little line across, leaving about a finger width on either side for our eyes that we will eventually add to this super cute shamrock. Okay, connect those two lines with the letter U or a curved line. I'm gonna give my shamrock teeth, so I'm gonna add another straight line across. And then I'm gonna draw a lowercase letter M at the bottom to make a shamrock tongue. Finally, you can go ahead and color in the dark of the mouth, leaving both the tongue and the teeth nice and white. Okay, on either side of the mouth, we're gonna draw a dot. Up at the top corners, we're gonna draw a little dot. Don't worry, those aren't the eyes, but we're gonna take that dot and we're gonna turn it into a circle. We're gonna extend that dot, make it a moving dot, and turn it into a circle on either side of the mouth. In each eye, we're gonna draw one small circle. And then you can color in the eyes, leaving those little circles nice and white. Add a little expressive line on either side of the eyes. And then at the bottom, if you want, you can add some grass, 
just like that with some very expressive zigzag lines. Let your hand go loose as you add those in there. Isn't that cute? Perfect! And once you're, you are done drawing, you are ready to color in your lovely shamrock. So grab your favorite art making mediums to color and let's color it in. Once you're done, your lovely shamrock is done. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel so I can continue to make amazing art lessons for you. Oh yeah. Well, if you are an art educator or a teacher and you're looking for some cool art lessons for your classroom, no matter what, kind of teacher you are for any grade, check out the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store. There I have over 700 art lessons and of course it's always growing and transforming. So make sure you check it out frequently, but it's the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store and you're gonna find art lessons that are fully planned and easy to use and you're gonna find some cool art activities to use for all the seasons all the holidays and so much more. You're gonna find amazing art lessons that are integrating the seasons, the holidays, elements of art, principles of design and art history and so much more my friends. It's a fabulous resource so check it out if you're looking for some awesome art ideas for your classroom. You can head on over to teacherspayteachers.com in that search bar just click it and you can type in Ms. Artastic same as this YouTube channel. There I am you can click that and that's going to bring you to this page and you can navigate it a variety of ways. You can go down scroll and see what's new. Um, these are usually my featured products that are usually brand new or if you go down to the side here you're going to find 
the categories of different things. You can click activity books to find my art um, activity books that are fully integrated with the elements and principles. You can find artists and art history, art sub resources, back to school, Christmas, distance learning, and so much more principles of design. Here it's all organized for different themes or the holidays and seasons or types of learning, including sketchbooks and social emotional learning and all of the above. So make sure you check it out. Ms. Artastic on Teachers Pay Teachers. And thank you so much for watching. I'm Ms. Artastic signing